Hi, welcome to Pop Balls Workshop. In today's video, I am responding to one of my subscribers who said, hey, what does it look like when you engrave on walnut? And can you engrave really small? So today I'm going to go ahead and take a logo, shrink it down really small, and engrave it. On top of that, we're going to be taking a look at the Fox Alien 20 watt laser as well as the 40 watt laser. And then just for the fun of it, we're going to be throwing in this Gulfin S9 laser and be able to make the comparisons. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of my Patreons for helping to support this channel. Your support is invaluable for the success of this channel. If you would like to be able to join the Patreon community, please go to patreon.com slash Workshop. Now this may seem like a little bit of an overkill, but this is the only piece of walnut that I had to be able to do the test carving today. So I'm going to take a piece right down here with the imperfections and be able to cut off a section of this long board to be able to trim it down to something that I can use as a test piece. At the table saw, I'm just going to cut a couple of strips down to about a quarter of an inch thick. That will be plenty to be able to do the test today with the lasers. So this is a nice smooth piece of the walnut now. And I've got actually a couple pieces, but the one on the right, I think I'm just going to set aside and we're going to work with the one on the left. Because that has some good texture in it to be able to do the test. Now I'm going to start out with the Fox Alien 20 watt laser. I've opened up a new window in Lightburn and I'm going to come right down here to the art library. And what I want to do is just take a look at some logos. And I believe what I want to do is start out with something simple. So I just grabbed the Papa's Workshop logo, brought it over into the workspace, and now I need to be able to make some adjustments. The blue is now set as a fill, so I'm going to go ahead and change that as a uh, line, and I'm going to turn that off because I really don't need that to be uh, engraving. As far as the black, I'm going to go ahead and set that up for the fill and then I will turn that on so it will output. So now the only thing I really need to do is get this size correctly. Now all of this, just turning the different layers on and off, I've shown in other videos in the past. The next step is I want to reduce the size of this. I want to bring it down to about a total height of about 0.7577 of an inch, something like that. Really doesn't matter, but that is definitely going to get it very small. Now I should have used a little lock and locked it. That would have kept my size exactly proportioned correct, but I didn't do that. So, oops. So those things will happen. But for this test, this is okay. As far as the settings of the laser, I'm going to go ahead and use this at 80 inches per minute and 60% power. Now I want to take this 30 millimeter gauge to set the Z height. I'll set it right here. And then I'll manually lower this down to where it just touches. There we go. So the Z height is set. Now we're going to go ahead and frame this. By framing this, I can verify exactly where it's going to engrave. And that's important with a small piece of wood such as this. So by framing it, I know exactly where it's going to be in this top left hand corner of the material. Now that that's all done, last step, grab the glasses and hit start. And that'll begin the engraving process. One of the things that I want to point out while this is engraving is I did not use the correct Gerbil settings. As you might expect, I do test all the time with different settings and sometimes I forget to put it back to where it belongs. So this actually is smaller than what I expected on the Y axis. Take a look at this. The X axis is correct, so it's the full length, but the Y axis is actually much shorter. And this is because I was doing some testing and I forgot to put the correct Gerbil setting back into the machine. Now hopefully this will not be a problem in your shop because more than likely you're not going to be doing the kind of testing that I do on a regular basis. But you can see that this print is tiny and it is printing very clearly and nice. It's just too small on the Y axis. Now one of the things I want to remind you any time that you're using the laser, please remember to wear the glasses. This is not a mistake that you want to make in the shop. The glasses are a very, very important safety feature that you must be wearing to protect your eyes. The engraving is just now finishing. Let's take a look and see how it actually engraved on this walnut. 
So let's get up close and take a look at the detail. The letters are very, very tiny, but they are clear and very easily readable. Let me grab the calipers. Now, as small as these letters are, they're still very readable, as you can see in the camera. But if I measure this out, so that letter is about 1.1 millimeter tall. That looks pretty good. Try to get that focused in the camera for you. Now, let's move on to the next test and do a Aztec calendar. I went back to the art library, and I'm opening up one of the Aztec calendars that I have. So let's go ahead and blow this up so you can actually see it. And there's a ton of detail in this, and currently this is nine inches. Uh, but what I'm going to do is reduce this down to about one, about 1.9 inches. And now let's bring this back up where we can see it. And there's still, you can see all the detail. What I want to do is go ahead and see if I can engrave this using those same exact settings and still be able to retain all of the detail. All the settings are exactly the same. I did make the correction on the Gerbil settings so it will be able to engrave the proper size. I went ahead and framed it so we're ready to be able to start the engraving now. Grab the glasses and we'll hit start. I've had this Aztec calendar now for quite some time and I've never actually engraved it. So this is a good test to see what it actually looks like. <laughs> I actually can't wait to see how it turned out with this 20 watt Fox Alien laser. And you guys get to see it for the first time with me. And wow, this is absolutely amazing. Now this is the 20 watt Fox Alien riser laser. We're going to do one more test with the Fox Alien 20 watt laser. And this time we're going to take the uh, Popo's Workshop logo and be able to engrave it at about an inch and a half in diameter. And that's the smallest I've ever engraved it so far. Now the only change that I made is I've decreased the power. The power setting is about 50% uh, percent power. And I want to see how that engraves on the walnut. Okay, this is finished now. And let's take a look. You can see it still has a lot of fine detail, but it's noticeably lighter. And that's okay. So that gives you another option. For the final test, I'm going to take the same exact logo and reduce it down to the diameter of being 0.75 of an inch, or three quarters of an inch in diameter. We're going to put the power at 80 inches per minute with 70% power, and we're going to be able to engrave this. This is going to be tiny. Now I went ahead and framed it. I want to get it set up exactly where I want it, and then we're going to hit start. Now this is going to engrave really quick. Okay, I framed it the second time. That's going to be a good location. Let's go ahead and hit start. Now because it's so small, it's going to engrave really, really quick. I hope you're ready for this. I have never did a logo this small. This is going to be real interesting. So let's take a look at it. This is absolutely amazing. You can still see all the detail. You can read everything. This is amazing. 20 watt Fox Alien laser. Now let's move on to the next laser. The next test is going to be with the Sculfin S9 laser. Now what we'll do, we've got a good base with the 20 watt Fox Alien riser. So we're going to set this one up. Now this takes a 20 millimeter uh, measurement to be able to set the z-axis on this. Now this unit again is a manual setting of the z-axis. You lower it down till it touches that 20 millimeter gauge and then you tighten the screws on the back of the um, laser itself. Now I have removed the red shield so that you can see it easier. Normally when I'm doing engraving, I leave that shield on. Now no settings has changed. This is still the 80 inches per minute with the 70% power. I'm framing it to get this logo exactly where I want it and I'm doing the 3 quarter inch logo again so it'll be side by side the one that I had just completed. So let's go ahead now that it's framed and we'll hit start and we'll get this engraved. It's just finishing now. Let's take a look at it and compare them side by side. So the first one on the left is the Fox Alien. The one on the right is the Sculpin S9. So you can see the S9 is clearer and sharper. Even though both are very easily readable, you can see the difference. 
Now let's do the second test. Let's go ahead and frame this again and we're going to do the Aztec calendar with the Sculpin S9 laser and we'll make that comparison to the Fox Alien 20 watt laser. And you notice I always frame it before I actually hit start. I want to make sure that it's going to engrave exactly where I want it. After that I just simply hit start and it begins engraving. I'm really excited to be able to see the results of this. It's coming out really good so far. Now this is the setup that I have. You will notice the exhaust fan on the back side. It does help quite a bit pulling the fumes away. And you can start to see the difference between the S9 and the Fox Alien 20 watt laser. You get a lot of detail with both, but I'm really excited to see the end result. I'm like a kid in a candy store and can't wait to be able to see how this is turning out. Really, really excited. Okay, here it is. Right off of the machine itself. I haven't done anything to it other than looking at it for the first time with you. An amazing detail. One last test with the S9 laser and I want to be able to do this logo like I did to begin with. Again I'm framing and then I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And then from there we're going to switch over to be able to compare the 40 watt laser by Fox Alien. And to be quite honest with you, to be able to compare the 40 watt Fox Alien and the S9 laser is a much more even comparison than being able to try to compare this to the 20 watt laser. But I think it's excellent comparison and it gives you the opportunity to see the differences side by side. Okay, the Sculpin S9 laser is just finishing up. Let's get it out and let's take a look at how this logo turned out. Now remember, this is 80 inches per minute. 70% power. I haven't changed it. Look at the detail. This is awesome. So now we've got the comparison between the two. Let's switch over and do the 40 watt Fox Alien laser. Now again at this time I'm setting it up manually setting the Z height and this was 30 millimeter height. Nothing else has changed. We're still running 80 inches per minute with 70% power and we're going to do the same exact logo. The only thing that I did is unplug one machine and plugged in the next machine. Nothing changed on the Lightburn software. Okay, it's almost finished engraving the logo and I want to take a look at it and we'll look side by side at the S9 laser and the Fox Alien 40 watt laser. And here's the side by side comparison. That looks absolutely great and so does this one. You really have a hard time telling which is which. So the S9 is on the left, 40 watt Fox Alien is on the right. As far as the height of these small letters, it is about 2.02 or 2.01 millimeters. That guys is tiny. Okay, now for the ultimate test. We're going to do that same logo that I did with the S9 laser. This is the one that's three quarters of an inch in diameter. And I want to make the comparison between the 40 watt Fox Alien and the Sculpin S9 laser. These are tiny, tiny letters. Now as I did with the S9 laser where I took off the red shield, I have the red shield on the 40 watt laser raised up so that you get a better picture of seeing exactly what's happening with the engraving. Okay, it's just now finished. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this is straight off of the machine and the detail is fantastic. We just got to get it to focus in the camera. That looks great. Well, it's time for you to be able to judge which one you think is the best. So this is the Sculpin S9 and that gives you a good detailed look at it. On the far left is the 20 watt Fox Alien. Now let's move over to this one. This was the 40 watt Fox Alien laser. I think this is an amazing detail to be able to engrave this small and to be able to do it on the walnut. So hopefully this has answered the question that the subscriber had about engraving on the walnut and doing the extreme small detailed engraving. Now if you like this video today, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget while you're there, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. That really does help me out. So bye bye for now 
and I'll see you on the next one. Oh wait, don't leave yet, one more thing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and seal the wood. Now this is just shellac and denatured alcohol. This is a 50-50 mix. And this will allow me to seal the wood and we'll see really what it's gonna look like. Now granted, paper towel is probably not the best thing to be able to put this finish on, but hey, it'll work. It'll spread it out and that's really all I want to do because this really is nothing more than a test piece. Too often I think people try to complicate things, whether it's finishing, engraving, whatever it happens to be. Keep it simple and don't complicate it. And paper towel in this case works just fine. Let's take a look at it up close and see just how good this finish looks with these different engravings. Now for those who make cutting boards for an example or work with walnut, this engraves absolutely beautiful and the grain is gorgeous. I love the look of the walnut and these engravings do a fantastic job. So this is something that you might consider to be able to add into your projects to be able to have a really nice detailed look added to your project. Let me know in the comment below if you like this type of comparison between the different lasers and the different types of materials.